one thing that quite a few people have asked me is, do you remember briefly appearing on a documentary called Louis Theroux's Weird Weekends? You yeah, are featured in... Berlin. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. because you were you were apparently going to debut a new character that night and you were telling Louis exactly. Theroux. Do you know who Louis is uh, beyond that interaction? No. Really no. 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 So, so, you, but you, you're going to tell me now, I hope. <laughs> uh, well, no, he's he's very famous around here. But uh, okay. but no, you were in it for a bit and you said you were going to debut a new character called Alexander, right? And then it ends up, I think, turning into Berlin uh, shortly afterwards. Well, at that time, they told me not to tell them tell him the real gimmick name. But the funny, thing, the funny story on the gimmick name was um, that the office never told me personally that my name is going to be Berlin. I was sitting at home watching with my wife wrestling and they, they played a vignette of my new character and suddenly it stand Berlin. And I said, I turned to my wife and said, is that my new name? <laughs> no, I mean, that, was, that was crazy. I mean, so what was the Berlin character then? Was it meant to be something incredibly old, sinister? Was it meant to be like a heavy metal thing or a steampunk no, thing? Old, old fashioned gothic vampire style gimmick. That's what's it gonna be. Yeah. No Nazi, no stuff like that, what some people thought it was. You know. So um so it was just like old fashioned gothic and yeah. I'm trying to think. So, like, any bits of the Berlin character that never made it to TV that you wanted to make to TV? Um, no, actually, they 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 pushed anything I, I brought up to them because Eric, like I said before, he he, he thought it was a great gimmick. It was a very successful start, and they could have done a, a really a lot with it. But um, since the Bosses changed. They uh, just, you know, cancel it. Yeah. So you said it was Eric Bischoff's idea, was it? What was it? What was that based on? No, it wasn't his idea. Oh. It was my idea. Okay. Because I wanted to go away from that pretty boy image, and um, I wanted to do something totally different. And like I said before, it's very important in the business to be different and unique and trendsetter and. Um, that's why I choose to do that kind of gothic style stuff, you know. Mm. I mean, nobody at that time had, when I came in WCW, no, nobody had earrings. I was the guy who had earrings. Nobody used the um, techno music. I used techno music. Nobody had flashy uh, clothes on outside of the wrestling ring, you know. Or nobody uh, wore uh, uh, bikers, you know, bikers, the, the cowboy boots without the point, yeah. stuff like that, you know. I always try to be ahead of the time. And that was the same with that gimmick. And whose idea was it to bring uh, Jerry Tui? Is is it Tui, how you pronounce his surname? Cute. The wall? Cute, I Cute. think. Well. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I really don't know. I, um, who brought, I Oh, yeah, actually, he came, Bam Bam Bigelow. He was a... a the boy of uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. He was a good friend of him, and he said, hey, listen, can he join that gimmick? Very nice guy, Jerry. Very sad, his ending. <clears throat> Did you spend any time with him uh, outside the ring, you know, in the bars or anything? What kind of guy was he like? He was a very calm guy, good-hearted guy, and uh, at first he started traveling with me when he came uh, to the WCW. <clears throat> and after a while, he switched to other people, and then... Uh, yeah, he, he got yeah drawn in this bad side of the wrestling business. 